Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get your Xbox 360 controller to work with your Mac, whether it's wireless or wired, it doesn't matter. And um, you can use it to control Minecraft, and with the application that you're getting, you can control many other games. But today we're just going to focus on Minecraft. Uh, maybe I'll do other sections where you can use it to control like Grand Theft Auto and different things. But pretty much for Minecraft, this is the way to do it. So. You're going to need to buy, uh, go to this link. You're going to have to get the driver here, which will take you to this website. All you have to do is download the latest uh, version of it. You're going to have to buy a piece of software, though. You have to buy Controller Mate, which is $24.95. I know in the tutorial file he says it's 15 bucks. This is an older tutorial. It was on... 2011, so it's went up in price, but uh, it's 24.95. I know it's almost as much as Minecraft, but it's worth it because you can use it with almost anything. You can use it to make your controller just control your Mac. Like if you have a media center and you want to use it to control it, you can control your mouse, click, and all kinds of stuff. It's handy. But today, it, you'll today we're going to show you how to make it work with Minecraft, and we'll get it to work. So. You need to download this driver first and open up its DMG. Well, its image file. And open it up. It install Xbox 360 controller, or just install 360 controller. Install it. It'll run through. You have to read all that. You don't have to, but I have already. Continue. Agree to the license and install on your hard drive. You have to put in your password. Apparently, I didn't put in my password right. There we go. I don't know. Uh, you'll install about no, three minutes remaining. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Never mind. It's not a very big, uh, doesn't take up much space. It's probably, I think it's only about, like, a couple mags. Uh, registering, updating, come on, see, yeah, here we go, hurry up. <laughs> wow, it didn't take this long to my pro. There we go. So now it's done. Sorry you had to, uh, go through that with me, but... Once that's installed, I have a wireless Xbox 360 controller. It'll say no device found, but my wireless little uh, dongle thing, the little LED has lit up to green. It wasn't before, and now it is. I'm going to go ahead and pair my Xbox controller with it. Hold on. For some reason it's not pairing now. Alright, it is working now. So now it popped up. You see I can control it, do many different things here. Pretty simple. Okay, now the next step is to install another piece of software, controller mate. Go you can go ahead and eject this, you don't need this anymore, you can move that to your trash. So that's this. You can also adjust like uh, sensitivity and stuff, and invert Y axis and stuff like that. And it also tells you your battery, how high it is. Pretty nice program, just all around it, anyways. Okay, now an install controller rate is pretty simple. Just walk through the steps again. You will have to restart your computer for this. So if you have any things you open, you need to save. Uh, do it. Okay. Go ahead and open here. Click on the install package. Run through the installation. And click and in continue installation. It shouldn't take that long. See, it's already installed. It's a very small application as well. 
So it's done. So now you gotta restart your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording, click restart, and I will get back to you when that is done. So Alright guys, now that you have restarted, all you need to do is load controller made up. Shouldn't take that long to boot, or load I mean. As you can see it says not registered up here. You click this little deal and it says you can only use the first 10 building blocks as active. So, what you want to do is, is, this is the time you need to buy it and pay for it. Uh, here you go, this is the registration. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording while I put my registration information in. Okay, everybody, it's registered now. So it's registered, yeah, thanks, all that. So close that up. And now you need to import a file. Select the file that's on your desktop. And click import. Let's go ahead and import it. All right, it says, here you go. So now it's selected. So now to change up some additional, go ahead and make it active. Uh, to change up your mouse speed, in case it's a little slow for you, click on this and then go into, uh, hang on, hit here. You select these. To adjust, this is your uh, no y axis, the x axis for both your uh, view. You can do the maximum and minimum of the range here. I like mine at a two, not a three, two. So I'm going to go ahead and change mine to a two. Change mine to a two there. So yeah, go ahead and select that. My two, I'm gonna go ahead and save the file. Oh, save there, duh. Save, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Minecraft. Go ahead and log in. It's loading. There you go, now it loaded in full screen view here. I'm gonna go into a multiplayer. I'm gonna select on my server here. I'm going to join, and there you go. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm using my controller. You guys really probably can't see that, but it is leggy really bad right now because of I am recording, and uh, my Minecraft is not liking that. But it is fully functional, and I have uh, a beacon and different stuff on my Minecraft server. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and this is how to get your Xbox 360 controller to work on your Minecraft or pretty much any other game. To get it to work with other games, uh, you have to set it up yourself. Uh, there's many tutorials on how to use Controller Mate or set it up for different games. Uh, I'll probably post a few in the future for different uh, games, like uh, the old Grand Theft Autos for the Mac and a few others. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. You even can use it on your mouse, too. That's what I'm using here for. So, Use it on your mouse. It's kind of laggy, though, because of that. So let's go ahead and quit game. So, well, thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you later and show you more tutorials on how to do this. But that's how you do it. And it's pretty that simple. It will cost you a little bit of money, but it is worth it if you're tired of using the keyboard. So, yeah, thanks for watching.